This is Twit. Back to the phones. Jack Streamwood, Illinois. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Jack. Hi, Leo. Um, so, like, as you said, I was looking for the best um, graphics card for an $800 PC, gaming PC build. And I was just wondering if you could help me with that. I love it that you're building your own. Is this, why are you building your own? Because you wanted to learn about how computers work and all that? Uh, yeah, and, you know, like, my laptop is okay right now, so I just wanted to get a good thing and me and my dad it's are doing it together perfect, so perfect project yeah. yeah i love that um so the, the by, and i should point out that this is something we all used to do a lot build your own computer but nowadays uh, you're almost always going to get a better deal if you go to somebody who makes computers like dell or lenovo or whoever but that's not the point the point is to to specify exactly what you want to put it all together to get a sense of how it works the downside to building your own, of course, is there's no one person to go to if something doesn't work, because you got the motherboard from somebody, you got the sound card from somebody, you got you know you got the case from somebody else, the monitor from somebody else, and if the computer's not working exactly right, who are you going to call? You, but that's all right. You and your dad want to figure it out. I think it's great. This is the site you need to know about uh, for the whole thing. PC Perspective is the name of it, and their website is PCPER.com. My friend Ryan Shrout runs it. And if you go to the hardware leaderboard tab on the site, I love it that they do this. PC Perspective, Ryan and his team review everything. Everything. Motherboards, graphics cards, everything. But the hardware leaderboard is a single page they put together that describes using the, the latest stuff, the stuff that's out right now, how to build the ideal system. And they have four different levels, the low-end system, the mid-range system, the high-end system, and the dream system. You said 800 bucks. That's their mid-range system. Yeah. And they describe all the pieces for an $885 computer, an i5 Intel core processor, a Haswell, a gigabyte motherboard. They like, for the video card, AMD's a new virtual super resolution Double D R9 285. It's an XFX card. Oh, and that's about a $200 video card, but they like that a lot. Uh, now, you can read more about their various uh, other cards and so forth. The key on this, and one of the things Ryan does well, is you kind of want to make sure you get a card that's right for the motherboard and right for its use, because you can get a card, for instance, that's too fast, or if, you know, you're wasting speed because the processor isn't fast enough, that kind of thing. So you want to match the pieces together, and Ryan's a master of that. He also recommends the new Samsung 850 uh, EVOS SSD. That is a great solid-state drive. Brand new, very, very fast. And, you know, the prices have dropped so dramatically on these solid-state drives. So he has some good recommendations for video cards, for the case, for everything. Um, but I think this, uh, I think this AMD, uh, AMD, remember AMD is ATI. They bought the ATI graphics card company. There's really two, uh, you know, for graphics cards, for gaming especially, there are really two companies. There's NVIDIA and AMD. And NVIDIAs are made by a lot of different people. And uh, AMD makes the ATI graphics cards. And they seem to like this one, the XFX Double R9 285. But you know what you should do? It would be worthwhile. You and your dad should go to PCPer.com and take a look at the whole mid-range system. You, if you, know, you say, oh, I think I want a better graphics card, you could move up a step. Don't move too far, though, again, because you're, with an i5, for instance, your graphics card could be faster than you need. You don't want to overspend.